Okay, so this guy, uh, Mathesis, wants uh, reaction videos for his trying of Australian foods. Okay, um, here you go, mate. All right. How's it going, guys? I am Matthias, and welcome today. I'm Mathis, gonna be trying yeah. some Australian foods. Woo! I previously tried some British foods and some Filipino foods. And you know what's really awesome? Actually, a Filipino viewer reacted to me trying Filipino foods, and that for me was just so incredibly entertaining to see their perspective. So, <laughs> if you are Australian, I would love for you to react to this video. Just put your like little face in the corner and just react to me trying these foods, and maybe I'll do it. I would do that, but I can't. To me, maybe that's too. Do that. Bad. Last I time I tried that, it... but let's start. And remember to stay to the end ah. because we saved the best for last. <laughs> I will announce a winner and a loser, my favorite and my least favorite. Alright, let's begin. First up, Violet Crumble, okay? It's the way it shatters that matters. <laughs> I've never read that on a candy bar before. Delicious shattering chalk coated honeycomb. Honeycomb? Interesting. I mean, this doesn't look like real honeycomb, so it can't possibly be real honeycomb, or this thing would be like $80. Honeycomb is expensive. Just have to oh. move it. There wasn't moving. Oh whoa! That is so unique. How in? Oh, this uh. is so good. <laughs> Remember, I'm gonna be giving everything a thumbs up or a thumbs down based on if I will go out again and get it for myself off camera. All right. This already is a thumbs up. Okay. This honeycomb yeah. stuff. It's really really hard, but it's like really crispy and it's like like a really hard foam kind of. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I maybe I've had too much caffeine today. <laughs> Next up, apricot indulgence. This is my apricot. I haven't tried these. Okay. I will indulge on some apricots. Made with dried fruit. Perfect between meal snack. Sure, it's 28 grams and six pieces. Whew. Since 1908, the Robin brand has been synonymous with Australian dried and glacé fruit. What does that mean? Ooh, ah, smell <laughs> so pungent. So pungent. It looks like a dried apricot was just compressed hardcore and then sprinkled some little sugar on top. Traditional apricot delight. Okay, these are supposed to be delightful. We shall see for ourselves. Tastes just like a dried apricot with sugar on top. Not near as strong as it smells. The smell is ten times strong as the taste. I'm not too much of a fan of dried fruit, so... Thumb, thumbs down, maybe? Soft eating licorice is up oh, next. Oh, from Daryl flavored. What is soft eating licorice? Those are the least descriptive adjectives a brand could find. Soft eating. 100% Australian owned. Sugar, wheat glucose syrup, wheat flour, wheat fiber. What? Why so much wheat in this? Why do people love wheat so much? You're killing me. Scissor time. I'm sorry, I made a mess. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This smells, whoa, they look like, Boom. they smell like a mango. That's it. <laughs> they smell like a mango. Uh, it smells like, a, it's so soft. Oh, it's really soft. That was disappointing. Tastes like licorice. Slightly mango. Why does it smell so good? Okay, now I'm tasting it a little bit more. It's so soft! Now I know why they... I mean, there's no other word for soft eating, am I right? Are not original. And uh, these are, I guess, called Tim Tams or Tam Tims or Timmy Tim Tams? What? Tim Tams. Tim Tams. Got it right. Alright. Irresistibly chocolatey happiness in a cookie. Okay, so it's just a cookie. That's that's it. It's just a cookie. Why do I smell it first? <laughs> it smells like a chocolate fudge. They're like separated perfectly so that none of them smudge into each other. You ever had like cookies when you like open the package and they're all just squished together and the manufacturer's like, what? That's how much you were going to eat anyways. No bother trying to separate them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Meh. Tastes pretty generic. Oreos are better than this. That's a bold statement. 
<laughs> but I said it, and I'm sticking with it. You know, it's not bad. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I'll finish them. Probably tonight. This one is men's candy honeycomb. Men's candy honeycomb. This specifically is for men. <laughs> I'm super excited about this because I'm assuming that it's the same as the Violet Crumble. I mean, these Australians really like their honeycomb. Ooh, they're just all thrown in here. They're huge. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> That's even like more intense of a flavor. Gluten-free. These are healthy for me. They're healthy for me. Don't tell me otherwise. I didn't even know something that good could exist. That's a thumbs up. Uh, Honeycomb. Uh, how have I never tried this? Next up, men's pineapple chores. Chocks. Chores? <laughs> pineapple jelly centers smothered in milk chocolate. Craving a chocolate holiday but can't afford one right now? Dive into a pack of men's pineapple chocks. And you'll get your delicious burst of tropical pineapple flavored jelly centers. I've been to Hawaii. Tropical vacations. I'm hoping that this is just as good. Because then I don't have to pay to go to Hawaii. Oh, what a weird smell. It smells like cleaning solutions. Pineapple and chocolate. I'm not sure if that mixes, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll take me to a tropical vacation. What happened? <laughs> that ain't no tropical vacation. Tasted like dollar store candy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Anzac biscuit. Uh oh. It's just like a tea biscuit. Am no. I supposed to have this with tea? Oh, here we go. I love all these foods from different countries. They always have like descriptions on the back of like what they are. About Anzac biscuits. Anzac biscuits are a traditional cookie in Australia and New Zealand made with oats, golden syrup, and coconut. These sweet and crunchy cookies are named after their Australian and New Zealand army. That was unexpected. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, they smell kind of good. They're very, very hard. See what I mean? Oh, I just made crummies everywhere. Very coconut. -y. I think you will like these. Here goes nothing. Oh man, that's so hard. So it's hard? Mm. And that's it. <laughs> it's hard. It's a hard cookie. This would probably taste really good with tea or coffee. Yeah, coffee. This would go really good with coffee. Yeah. It's gonna... oh, I love those biscuits. Arnott's Shortbread Cream! Oh. New book pack coming soon. Oh, <laughs> this isn't even the new look. This is just them announcing that there's gonna be a new look. Shortbread Cream. Well, not much to this. This looks like a regular old cookie sandwich. Oh, they're nice. They're nice. I like them. Ah, for a cookie. It's kind of bland. If I'm gonna eat something sugary, I'm gonna want it to have like at least the most amount of like taste that possibly can be, you know, so I get my money's worth. Uh -huh. Or my sugar's worth. Because I can't eat that much sugar, she won't let me. Mmm, thumbs down. Any things? Alright, the moment Oh, that here we go. <laughs> Yeast extract. Is that all this is? Yeast extract? Oh, I'm <laughs> so worried about this one. This one is evidently extremely polarizing. A lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. This is leftover brewer's yeast extract. I got a spoon here. Ah, don't, do spoon. So don't do the spoon! Don't do the spoon! A little bit Dude, on the top and see what it tastes like. Don't do the this spoon! This shouldn't have been the last one. Don't, don't use a spoon! Uh, people put that in their mouth! Oh, I eat it! I'm supposed to eat it like this. People don't just eat it like this. I bet no, you eat it like this. No. Sickos. It looks like chocolate. Oh my gosh. You guys are all gonna call me a huge wimp because of like how little that's, I'm eating here. But this that's is a how, lot for me, guys. Here that's how you spread. Uh, that's. Uh, I hate this part. <laughs> oh. oh! You oh. failed. Oh. Fail. Oh. <laughs> Was that some kind of joke? Some kind of sick joke? Uh, People no. don't that. It yes. tasted like I licked the bathroom floor. My bathroom's clean. I'm saying public bathroom. I'm sorry if that offends you. It was no. just so... I, just lo I love the way they, 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 go, they get it wrong. That way. That's probably not the way to eat it. I get that. But oh my gosh. How salty was that? Mm. So the winner of today's episode is... Violet Crumble.
Just so good, just oh my gosh, so good. And the loser, mm -hmm. obviously, I think you can guess it, Vegemite. That was a sick joke, guys. What? Why? Why'd you do that to me? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below, what is the weirdest food that you have ever tried? And if you happen to be Australian, I would love for you to react to this video of me <laughs> trying Australian food. Honestly, just for my entertainment, uh... I got a kick out of it. Also, check out me trying British foods and Filipino foods. Until next time. High five. Okay.